getting annoyed for no good reason. The second thing uh, I said I would talk about this earlier is being truthful. Being truthful is very important. And if you mm -hmm. always lie, one lie leads to another, to another, to another, to another. Eventually people find out, then boom, it happens. So you can let us know what's the one thing you think breaks a relationship on Y254 and the mm -hmm. East Circuit. Our next guest, actually our first guest, uh, they come from Ditole Voluntary Service Association. Um, I'm talking about Ruth and Ben. Welcome to the studio. Now, Jitole is an organization that helps the youth uh, to find employment. Uh, uh, because if, when I'm reading this, uh, I can see you're talking about uh, people who are hustlers still, uh, people who are back at home idling. Uh, if you could, please explain to me, how do you find these youths? Well, basically, we go to the estates uh, around where they idle, where they re have their rest. Mali wanaita mabez. We get them there. We also source them through our friends, relatives, neighbors. Yeah, we get them through the uh, such sources. Mm. Yes. And uh, uh, Ruth, you're a volunteer member. Yes. yes. Uh, so far, what's the uh, uh, what one is your Eh, i kikundi ama i muradi i mesaidi wanarika sana. Tuliweza kufikiwa na wakubwa wakati uelezea wanataka kusaidia vijana mm. wasichana na wafulana na wakatuletea au wasichana na au vijana kwenye tunafanya kazi na tukajitolea mm. e, mimi nikachukua mmoja na wale wengine wakachukua wengine na tumewasaidia kuweza kujua kazi mm. diposa tuweze kuwasaidia kutoka kwa kukaa idols waanze kufanya kitu na waweze kujitengemea mm. Yes. Kwa reception imekuwa mzuri among the youth. Iko sawa sawa kabisa. Na nikiangalia hapa naona the different fields and mna, mna shugulukia Ben. Yeah. Uh, there's salon and beauty mechanics, welding, yes. uh, electronics repair which is really yeah. good, catering, yes. barbering, yeah. uh, artwork, uh, yeah. uh, auto wiring, electrical and tailoring. Yes. Uh, all these fields they're very different different. Yes. So how do you get the trainers? The trainers well uh, it's good that Kenyans are uh, good-hearted people mm. and uh, as we go a long way uh, looking for those who can come on board to help us, we just reach them out, speak to them, those who have these jobs actually, at their places of work. Okay, when we reach them, we speak to them, we try to share the idea how we can help our youth because actually if we see around, uh, our youth wengi wana shikwa shikwa mm. wakirandranda huku mm. so ama wanaingilia vitu hivi wanaingilia bangi mogoka mm. siku hizi ukiwaona wengi wanakula tu mogoka hakuna kazi mm. at the end of the day they want something <laughs> <laughs> uh. so ninapojaribu kuelezea uh, it's good the, the reception is good they mm. take it in and they are majority are willing to come on board to mm. help mm. and fact so far we've gotten uh, 100 Volunteers. A hundred volunteers. Yeah, just as, as you, uh, you have seen there in the, in the paper, mm. already we have uh, people with uh, such jobs. Mm. Yes, and in fact, we have uh, enrolled 40 youths. 40 youths yeah, already. 40 youths, yeah. And a hundred volunteers who are ready to even take more. Exactly. So you see, there's that deficit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, w what are the main challenges when you are starting the Tole Voluntary Service Association? Yes. Because I, I, I can imagine mm. there are a few challenges. Yes, of course, mm. there are challenges. Eh? Well, challenge number one is sometimes, uh, okay, we, you need enough resources to go around, okay? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, also the volunteers, some of them, you find they don't have enough facilities. They are willing, yes, but they don't have enough facilities. To cater eh? to all to cater to, uh, the youth. Yeah, 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 exactly. You see, like the salon guys, uh, they might require some extra materials to train, eh? Same case with the tailoring guys, you, know, you, you find that they want to have an extra machine mm. so that the, whoever is being trained can be able to use it. Eh? Mm. Yeah. So that, those are the challenges. But uh, all in all, things are not so bad. Mm. Yes. Another challenge well is uh, on the side of the youth, 
Sometimes they are not so receptive uh, bearing the fact that uh, they're not going to get earn something at the end of the day. Mm. Yeah, but the good is that once they realize that after gaining some uh, experience, they can wanapewa kakitu. Mm. Yeah, in fact, that one, uh, <laughs> Dorothy can answer what they do, mm. at least to uh, entice them or to, or to incite them to come. Mm. Yes. And, and I think that's a discussion we need to have on the e-circuit because, you know, it's an edutaining show and we always like to educate the people. The thing is, uh, I think the youth need to understand that returns don't necessarily come all at once, but exactly. if you have the skills, exactly. we always say hashtag talent Nikazi, and I think all these fields uh, require some bit of talent. Exactly. Once you're trained, you get uh, skilled, then you, then you turn it into a talent after, you know, repeat, 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 and you get good at yes. it. But uh, let me ask you, um, as a volunteer member, uh, I've had the challenges in terms of resources. Uh, have, have you been uh, umekuwa uh, bypass hiyo? Challenge kubwa ya wana youth ni mali wanatoka ni mm. wawezi, wawezi kufika mali tuko wanahitaji basi ya kukuja hapo mm. na hatuna vifaa za kutosha kwa accommodate many youths mali tunafanya kazi kama mimi ama Andreza mm. so hatuna vifaa za kutosha kwa kwa accommodate many youths mm. na ni wengi wale wanataka kukuwa na sisi na kutoka mahali wanatoka ndio wakuje mahali tuko bado they need busware mm. na hata wengine wako na challenge mpaka hawana lunch ya kukula kutokana na kwenye wametoka so tukiwachukua tukikaa nao itambidi sometimes ndio wa wa motivate mm. unawapatia busware ya kurudi kwao majioni na tena unawanunulia lunch mm. and then you create good relationship with them. Mm, the one mm. kutakuwa, there's a light yes. at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we promise them in case yeah. mtu ashike kazi nzuri. Kama naweza kuleza before you continue, mm. will you find out Aji about uh, this organization Jitole? Uh, because unajua hiyo kujitolea but they asante sana kwa kujitolea na kusaidiana. The youth need more mm. big exactly. brothers and sisters like yes. you. Mm. Lakini uli uli kuja kujuaje kuhusu Jitole? Niliwajua kwa sababu walitembea kwa estates mm. uko kwetu tuelezea kama tunaweza jitolea mm. tusimame na hawa wanarika tuweze kuwasaidia ni wasimame na sana sana wale hawana kasi and the idolers mm. yes ah nice eh. ah you're doing really good yeah, work so uh, aside from uh, going to the people themselves uh, the people who are going to be volunteers to help the youths yeah. Uh, as you said, financial challenges are also yes. there. Yeah. Is, is there a way uh, people can contact you and try to help out and reach out? Yes, we have an office. Yeah. Uh, Kariobangi roundabout, next to Family Bank. Next to Family Bank, there's an office at Gadiru House, mm. second floor, room 32. And the numbers, we have uh, 0720 mm -hmm. 738 uh, could you repeat that number, please? 0720 738 450. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, anyone can come and assist. Iku and Iraya, other NGOs. Any and I hope you're approaching the them as well because I think what you're doing exactly. is really beneficial, you know. Yes, yes. Because membership is actually free of charge. Yeah. We mm -hmm. don't charge anything. Well, this is really good. And you yeah. get to acquire skills yeah. uh, if you aren't able to, you know, continue with your studies or yes. if you had to drop out for one reason or the other, yes. these are the people for you. Yeah. So make sure you contact them. Is there a website? So far, we have not opened one, but we are aspiring to have one very soon. Mm -hmm. But you have a, a Facebook page, mm -hmm. Jitole Voluntary Hustlers Association. Jitole Voluntary Hustlers, Hustlers Association. <laughs> Association. <laughs> yes, if you go there, you'll find us. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, so, w what are your projections for the near future in 2019? Right now, you said you have a uh, hundred volunteers yes. and forty youth members. Yes. Uh, so, what are your projections? What's the growth? Uh, well, we project. What are you targeting? We project to have even like a thousand because you know the the youth are the majority in this country. Mm. Seventy percent of the population is no joke. Mm. So, okay, the government alone cannot cater for it. Cannot manage. You know that, and we. At least we aspire to go countrywide, eh? not only in Nairobi. Mm. So far, we've gone to various uh, locations in Nairobi. Mm. What, what type of places do you target when you the, go there? It, okay, we target especially the low-level areas, the slum areas. Mm. Yes. 
and we want to go even up country. Yeah. We just have a few. We have, we have one volunteer in Limuru and one in Kisumu. Yeah, but we expect to at least cover a bigger area of the country. Mm. So all uh, volunteers are welcome on board. Mm. <laughs> at least even if you reach a thousand, the youths are many. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you better have them because the youth are many. So that when they come, they get somebody to help them. Mm. Yes. Asante Sana, thank yes. you so much for coming through. Yes. Again, let me repeat their numbers. Uh, you can contact uh, either Kyoko yes. or Ben yes. on the number 0720738450, yes. right? Yes. Asante Sana, thank you so much for what you're doing Welcome. for the youth in yes. this country. God knows we need it. Yes, very <laughs> and much. we need more big brothers and sisters like very you much. around. Yes. Because I think uh, you're the people who are going to make a difference. Thank you. Asante Sana for coming through. We'll be back thank after you. this.